Welcome everybody to my shameless attempt to be noticed by The Daily Show. I am your host, Parker Hap. On today's docket of whatever this program is, we will be approaching the topic of AstroTurf. And no, I'm not talking about the stuff that you would mini-golf on. I'm talking about AstroTurf that is founded by corporations, politicians, and people like trying to otherwise create a following for something that doesn't exist. Today's topic centers around Ted Cruz. Two videos now about Ted Cruz. Uh, you might know this already. Ted Cruz announced that he's running for president. What has since come out is that students at Liberty University, wherein he announced his presidential run, were going to be fined $10 if they did not show up to see Cruz. And now, to be fair, the college, which is founded by Jerry Falwell, um, a big religious leader, he had this idea of convocation wherein students would go and listen to different speakers and Jerry Falwell Jr. who's the current president of Liberty University was quoted as saying convocation speakers do not all line up with traditional evangelical Christian viewpoints which is total bullshit because looking at the docket for the next nine of ten speakers at Liberty they are all religiously affiliated and you could even say ten out of ten of the speakers are somewhat Christian inclined because one of them is Ben Watson, a pro football player for the Saints. Anyway, so students were aware of this rule of convocation and that if they didn't go, they would be reprimanded uh, four times and also face a $10 fine. One student said, so I will either attend convocation and lend to the illusion of widespread support for Senator Cruz, or they will be subject to an administrative punishment. That's like pretty much the definition of AstroTurf. This whole notion of Republican AstroTurf really isn't anything new. During the 2000 election between then Vice President Gore and George Bush, the Miami-Dade recount was brought to a grinding halt when protesters tried to break down the door to the supervisor of elections office where 10,000 ballots were being counted and effectively shut down the recount effort. Now, there's a few things to know that this was a total AstroTurf effort. I say protesters because they weren't protesters. They were actually organized by the Brooks Brother Brigade, which were a bunch of Republican operatives, and that that was the goon name that was given to them. Brooks Brother Brigade. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Brooks Brother Brigade. Brooks Brother Brigade. Brooks Brother Brigade. <laughs> the Brooks Brother Brigade was headed up by a congressman that George W. Bush nicknamed Congressman Kickass. No joke. And these guys all formed a you know posse to go down to the Miami-Dade supervisor's office and shake things up. The recount effort was stalled partially because it was deemed unfair, but also because it was completely unrealistic that they were going to get through all of the ballots that they needed to look at and evaluate the chads. Today, we have Tea Party AstroTurf groups like Freedom Works or Americans for Prosperity throwing their names behind candidates or groups that otherwise adhere to their very strict pro-capitalistic economic beliefs. Now, they definitely do support almost exclusively Republican uh, and very hard right conservative candidates. Uh, another example, though, of how they can throw their name behind AstroTurf movements is in one personal experience wherein I was working at a state representative's office in Illinois and a bunch of college kids were outside protesting. Anyway, these kids have signs against this corporate income tax and when I went to go ask them who they were with, they said that they were uh, there on their own time and um, that they had organized by themselves. But after a little bit of probing and giving them a few donuts, I found out that they had been organized by Americans for Prosperity and it was just really kind of weird to me that they would be out there protesting when they were. And they had signs that were very simple. It said like, honk if you want lower taxes. I'd honk, I want lower taxes. To people though that were driving up and down the street, this might've given them the illusion that, oh, well look at there's an issue that I need to be passionate about. But the larger point is, is that it, the, their whole movement lended credibility to something that really didn't even exist. And that's what AstroTurf does to begin with. It doesn't matter if it's Ted Cruz at Liberty University. It doesn't matter if it's, uh, you know, a bunch of protesters, protesters in Miami-Dade County being organized by the Brooks Brother Brigade. Got it. Uh, or it doesn't matter if it's a bunch of kids in rural McHenry County. AstroTurf is AstroTurf, and you have to take it for a grain of salt and look at it for what it is, educate yourself on the issues, be able to counter, counter some of their points of view too, and realize that when you start to dig a little bit deep, see where the money's coming, and see who the actual folks are, they might not actually have a stake in the game. 
that's my uh, view there. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I have some uh, links in the uh, description to where I've gotten some of my sources. If you want to also start a discussion, I've got my social media stuff on uh, the bottom there. Anyway, um, pass this along and uh, yeah, let's get me on the Daily Show. I mean, this isn't me shamelessly wanting to be on the Daily Show. It is. It will be. I mean, I guess I would take last week tonight too. That's great. You know, there's that. I could promise I'd be better than Anthony Jesselnick. <laughs>